hello 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 welcome to my youtube channel daughters of hadessa today let's have a little conversation from the book of mark chapter 5 talking about the woman with the issue of blood and i'm gonna make it real and relevant and we're gonna have real talk today because as christians we sometimes think that when we read the Bible, the issues in the Bible only applied for that day and that time and to that particular situation. But that's not true. The Bible is a still a living Bible, the living word that still speaks today. And just like the woman with the issue of blood had an issue which happened to be blood, she had many other issues too, and we're going to talk about those. But the issue that the Bible states that she's known for is having an issue of blood. And one of the things that I love about the Bible is, it says the woman with the issue of blood didn't give her a particular name, even though we all know she had a name. None of us know what her name was, but it points to us. Her name was not supposed to have been mentioned so that we would see ourselves in this woman with the issue of blood. Now, I'm making it relevant for today. You may not have an issue of blood, but sister, what's your issue? And don't say, I don't have no issues. We all have issues. It's one thing or another. Some of, some of us have social issues, emotional issues, physical issues, mental issues, financial issues, on and on. Some of us got issues with everywhere we go. It's drama. Not realizing that we are the person bringing the drama. Because wherever you go, there's a problem. But you see the problem as, oh, they jealous of me. Oh, they don't like me. Oh, they just jealous because all the people that come to the store or that work at the job, um, at the nursing home, all of their family and the, all of the patients, they like me or, you know, all of these different excuses why everybody else jealous of you. But you're not the issue. But anywho, the woman with the issue of blood. She had an issue of blood for 12 long years. Nobody could cure her. She went to all of these physicians. She spent all she had. And she wasn't any better. Actually, she grew worse. Now her first issue was... She had an issue of blood. Her second issue was she was now broke. She didn't have any more money for the men of the day who were physicians to keep experimenting on her to try to fix a situation that was rare that they had never experienced before. So they were taking this woman's money knowing that they could not heal her and keep kept trying to treat her with different potions and concoctions and all type of other things that they were making up to try to heal this woman. Knowing that they had never healed anybody with this type of issue before. And they were all men. Because women were second class citizens. So they did not work. Women were not doctors. They could not be a, the head over a man. So she could not be a doctor, not even a gynecologist. So the woman had other issues. She also had family issues. Because this woman with the issue of blood, I'm quite sure she had a husband. I'm quite sure she had kids. And with her having a family, Leviticus says that she was considered unclean. And anything she touched... While she was on her menstrual, she was considered unclean. 
it would have to be clean. If she sat on a bed, all the sheets, everything would have to be taken off, washed, and purified for seven days. If she was in an area and she touched the cup, and one of her children picked the cup up, they had to be set apart and for a couple of hours, I believe it was from till sundown or something like that, Leviticus 15 says. But anyway, this woman had more issues than the Bible mentions. Now, when we look at ourselves, there are things in our lives that we don't like. That are very ugly. But we refuse to deal with the issues that we have. Now, if somebody would have told this woman with the issue of blood, oh, you got an issue of blood. And she said, no, I don't. What's wrong with you? I don't have no issue. You talking about you. You need to take a look at yourself. Because nowadays, you can't tell sisters nothing. When you tell them something, or you try to bring it to their attention, and even in love, it could be somebody close to you. Nowadays, in this 2020 time that we live in, I mean, it's like you can't tell nobody nothing. You either got to be jealous or you trying to compete with them. No, you're my sister. Let me bring to light something that you may not be able to see about yourself so that you can fix yourself. This Facebook and Instagram and all of these other social medias we talk about. The sister being a queen and we fixing her crown and things of that nature. But whenever it's time to do so... Sisters don't want to hear it. They're in denial. How can you fix an issue if you don't identify an issue? That's one of the things I loved about, love about this story of the woman with the issue of blood. Not only did she identify what the issue was, but she was willing. And she did. She worked on and spent all she had trying to get whole. Trying to be made whole. Trying to deal with this issue. She never denied the issue. She never said, well, oh, I guess I'm going to have to live with this issue. Oh, that's just how I am. This is me. Take me or leave me. I was born this way. I'm going to die this way. You know the little silly things that we say. And if that's. Your thing, then that's your prerogative. Then that you do you and be who you are. But then you wonder why you don't get different results because you refuse to change. These issues we refuse to deal with. We want a higher paying job. We want to become supervisor. But you're so ghetto fabulous. Your conversation is not beyond the eighth grade. You have little kids that can articulate and pronunciate and you still straight street talking like you live in a thug life but you want to be somebody's supervisor no it don't work like that sometimes you got to be willing to go back to school be teachable allow somebody else that's already doing the thing to teach you Instead of you thinking you're just going to get there because of who you are. This world we live in today is not a sense of entitlement age. You are entitled to nothing. You work at it and you get it. Issues. We have issues, sisters. Issues with looking at a sister. Oh, she thinks she's better than me. Oh, she thinks she cute. Who is she? Oh, you seen such a sister so-and-so? You seen them shoes she had on the day in church? I know she ain't finna be no minister, because I remember when. Oh, yeah. Issues. Sisters got issues walking saints down the aisle at the church. You, got a, you woke up with an attitude this morning. You come into God's house with your issues. And you pour that negativity all over people coming to the house of God looking for hope, looking for encouragement, looking for strength. And here they meet you at the door. You have 
issues. When somebody say something to you, you're ready to fight. Christ, all Christians don't change. We come to church just the way we were in the world. But then we wonder why our life is not getting any better. We expect for Jesus to be like this poof, pow, be gone type of God who can but will not necessarily just take away your issues. Because even the woman with the issue of blood, she had to play her part. She had to believe, reach out, do something different. And that's where she heard about Jesus. And in her hearing about Jesus, throughout this big crowd, this mass of people, she went. She believed within herself that this Jesus must be powerful. He's able to fix this. No other man was able to fix this issue. But I'm going to reach out. That's another thing, sisters. We hold so much in. We bound down with stress, depression, fears, and limitations. And I can't start over. I can't do something different. This woman with the issue of blood should be an example to you. She did something she know she was doing that was wrong, but she needed her healing. She wasn't supposed to be in the crowd, first of all. The second thing for her to reach down and touch Jesus, not knowing what the consequences was going to be, but she was willing to do something different anyway. And she didn't even touch Jesus. She touched his clothes. The little string that hangs off of his garments. I think they call it zit zits. And she was made whole. And Jesus immediately said, who touched me? He felt the power go out of him. Because that sister believed that if I could just get to Jesus, I can be made whole. And the same can happen to you. Instead of you being in denial about the issues, go to Jesus. Get in worship. Lift your hands and magnify, praise, and give God glory. Give him your issues. Let him help you work on the things that are going on inside of you, sister. We all have issues. None of us are perfect. And we won't be perfect while we're here. But Jesus is here to help us. To lift the burdens. To ease the pain. To heal the sickness. If we would just bring our issues. Trust and believe. And touch him. Instead of always waiting for him. To touch us. What are you doing? To touch Jesus. What are you doing different in your life? How are you planning to get different results we're so stuck this woman with the issue of blood blessed my soul and there's so much more that I could talk about with her but I'm not and if you don't know the story read your bible I'm not here for bible study but I wanted to make this real and relevant Mark chapter 5 Beginning at verse 25. I think it starts. It talks about Jairus' daughter. And how. That's another point. Jairus' daughter. Jesus was on his way to heal. Jairus' daughter. This woman wasn't even supposed to get her miracle. She wasn't even supposed to be. That wasn't even the day that he was coming to reach out for her. To touch her. To do anything for her. Jesus wasn't even thinking about her. But she had enough faith to get down and touch and reach out for her blessing. And she got it. So my sisters, I encourage you. Whatever your issue is, identify your issue. Deal with your issue. Take your issue to Jesus. Don't keep wasting time and money trying to do things. And not be willing to change. 
Be willing to reach out and touch Jesus. Do something different. Now that's all I want to share from the woman with the issue of blood. Don't just look at it as a Bible story. Look at it and see how relevant it is for your life today. This is Daughters of Odessa. My name is Gail. Have a blessed and prosperous day.